Hi, I'm Dial Tone. This is my garage, and here's what we're working on today. The best car in the world. Take it away. Do the reveal. That's it. It's a 2007 Toyota Corolla. The best car in the world if you define a car as a vehicle that goes from a place to another place and doesn't stop doing that. We're doing something vitally, necessarily important today in the country that I call home of Canada, where we're gonna change these gross, ugly winter tires for these beautiful summer tires, which you can see in here that look identical. To make our life easier, I bought some tools here. We got a jack. It's, um, it's certified certified to be the cheapest branded Canadian tire. Before we get to any of that though, we have to take these these delightful, beautiful summer tires and you can definitely tell the difference between them and the winters. We have to get them out of the car. Now there's only two of them in here and last I checked this isn't a motorcycle, so where, the re where are the rest of them? In the trunk. Oh, picturesque here, I'll help, you. I'll help you. I'm helping. <laughs> We're a team. Um, how hard can it be, right? It's, just, it's a jack. Line up the jack with the jack point and um, pump up the jam. Ooh. Is that good? No, I think it was just settling. Oh, no. Did you bend it? Hold on. What are we looking at? Oh, no, it's not bent. It's barely bent. It's, it's like supposed to do that. I think it's just settling. Yeah, that looks fine. I mean, it's the pinch look. That's where you're supposed to jack the car up from. All right, we got the car jacked up. We're trying to use power tools to expedite the process because we can't be bothered to do anything manually. We got the rear axle just sitting on jack stands. In my brain, that seems safe enough. How's the tool going? Is it not powerful enough? Oh, for God's sakes. The guy who did it last time, who, who was us, by the way, we did it last time. We used far too many Ooga Doogas, so we got, we got the double tool system going on, trying to get these bad boys off. We got one. And unfortunately, one out of five is not a pass. There's far too many Ooga Doogas holding these wheels together. So we're gonna we're gonna take the car and we're gonna lift it off of the jack stand and actually put it on the ground. We can crank that soldier boy. We unfortunately cannot crank the soldier boy. It, it, it's just not possible. I believe. Yeah, pushing. Yes, really good. finally. Power tools. Back on the ground, retightening the bolts in a crisscross pattern. Look at that. Look at this pro workmanship here. That's supposed to happen. That is the recommended technique. Hang on, nice and tight. Looking great. Watch the ease at which the wheel comes off. <laughs> That's perfect. The front half is always, always easier than the back half. You can see we got the jack going. I'm gonna lift it up, get this thing off of the stand, put it on the ground, drive it around, try not to lose a wheel. Checking the tire pressures now, but I desperately would not recommend following anything you saw in this video for a lesson on how to change your tires. Just like, look at what Chris Fix does and do that. Don't follow us, this is for entertainment purposes only. You're probably wondering why I keep calling this the best car in the world, despite the fact that it's obviously just a little white Corolla. And really, that's a special thing. The little white Corolla is the best car at being a car. Now, please excuse the noise, we're cleaning blood out of the car, unrelated. Anyways, you say best car, and you think like a, like a supercar, like a Lamborghini or, or, or something special, or maybe like a, a Range Rover, an Escalade, a, an amazing, incredible vehicle, but the thing about this is the Corolla is not the best SUV, it's not the best sports car, it's not the fastest car, it's the best car at being car. If you want a vehicle that will go from a lo location to a destination and always do that and never not do that and get really good gas mileage and be comfortable and long lasting and just generally an car, then you literally can't go wrong with a Corolla. If all you want is car, Corolla. That's it's in the name, Carolla, right? That's it's perfect. Put it up on the screen. Carolla. It's right there. You might be thinking to yourself, clearly if the Corolla is so great.
wait, why don't I have one? Why do I have a tiny little hatchback and a giant sedan? That's because I am an idiot. This particular Corolla has a couple common Corolla accessories that you can look out for when you're driving around the highway. Number one, this. It's a bug deflector, also known as a bra to some people, which is fun. Not done yet because we also have broken antenna, a very important feature. And this, um, this scrape, they actually came out of the factory like that. I bought this um, self-heating hot chocolate at Bass Pro today. And uh, so let's give it a shot. You gotta, what is it? Oh, it's upside down, of course. Open the bottom lid, press on the blue capsule. All right, well, let's, let's just give it a shot and open the bottom lid. Huh, a mysterious capsule of chemicals. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, um, I might need two hands to do this. I pressed in and the blue rapidly went away. So who knows where it's gone? And it basically says, flip it over when it starts to steam and then wait three minutes. So uh, I guess I guess we'll see it then. It's, it's, it's getting warm. I think this is genuinely self-heating me a fresh hot chocolate. Awesome. That's steaming if I've ever seen anything. So then I take it, I flip it over and then I wait three minutes. Moment of truth. It looks brown and warm, so let's see what happens. Yeah, it's like hot chocolate. Mission accomplished. Good job. We're going for a little ride in the Rolla. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna test drive the best car ever made. Yeah, just for fun, give it some beans. Yeah. Feel the four cylinders of pure rage. Driving the best car in the history of the world ever. Ooh. It's pretty smooth. I mean, it's, it's car. Like, it just kind of feels good. Every single part of it is Good. And that's a pretty impressive thing that they've managed to accomplish here. Here, let's take it onto some main roads and see how she does at speed. And uh, here we'll do a bit of a handling challenge. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it drives pretty good. It's a lightweight, it's a short wheelbase, it's got good motors. Um, it's pretty squishy. Like, obviously, the Merc's squishier, but um, there's no shortage of squish with this vehicle. Sun visor is a very useful feature which has the best car in the history of the world. It does it, it has everything that you need and nothing that you really don't need, um, including M radio, which is new and was purchased at some point by uh, someone. And it has airbags. Yes, several, several airbags. How many, do you know? No. Fair enough. It doesn't matter, it's the best car. It doesn't, it, you don't need to know how many airbags because you know that it's a Corolla. Well, yeah, Corolla people know how to drive. Absolutely, they don't need the airbags. Everyone who drives a Corolla is a genius because they know it's the, the best, best car. car in the world, right? I think you're getting this now. Like, who buys Mercury? Right? Nobody buys a Mercury. Who buys, like, a Ford Fiesta? That's a stupid vehicle. It doesn't matter that there's definitely like a suspension bushing going on in, in, in making that clicking noise. It doesn't matter. The car's fine. It's not broken. This thing, it'll still last. Keep driving it, honestly. You can be meaner on the accelerator and it doesn't really matter. It's, it's, it's as close to invincible as you can get an automobile. Honestly, I think that those new summer tires, they're, you know, they're Pirelli, they're P-Zeros. They're basically F1 tires. Um, that'll give this thing unparalleled grip lateral G's in the corners, acceleration, braking. This, will, this is an unstoppable sports machine. The best car in the world. Ignore that noise, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's just making a noise. Sometimes I make noises, there's nothing wrong with me. Okay, there is a lot of things wrong with me. But I do make noises, and that doesn't necessarily mean I'm bad. It just means I make noises. Acceleration, absolutely. I mean, it's it's a handling masterpiece. Honestly, this thing drives better than a Corvette. Take this around the Nurburgring, five minute lap time. Serious, unmodified. The thing about my car is that even if it's not fast, it could just outlast any other car. Yeah. It's it's got the endurance to endure any other brand of car. One million kilometer mileage, easy, nothing. No problems at all. And what do you think of the brakes? Dial tone. I, I, 
no no problem with the brakes. I would test them, but the light just turned green. That was red ahead of us. I could see that you were kind of queuing it up for it, and I appreciate that. Um, here, we'll just do a small braking test. Yep, we, our speed reduces. I mean, they're brakes. They brake, but they don't brake. Does that make sense? 